Welcome to WP Mail SMTP, the most popular SMTP and PHP mailer for WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your site's email deliverability issues by setting up WP Mail SMTP with Amazon SES. Email deliverability is probably the biggest and most common issue that WordPress users face on a day to day basis. This includes important emails either ending up in a user's spam folder or not being delivered at all. The best way to fix this issue is to authenticate your site's emails using SMTP and selecting a specific mailer option to help you deliver your emails reliably each and every time. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Before anything else, you'll need to make sure you've signed up for a free account with Amazon Web Services or AWS. You can find a link to this service in the video description below. Please note that although the account is free, AWS will require you enter a credit card when creating an account. Once you've created your account, the next step is to set up an IAM user, which will provide you with access keys you'll need later. Open the Amazon Web Services IAM Users page and click on the Create User button. Add any name you'd like in the Users field, but we recommend using the following name format. This will just make it easier to keep track of it if you need to set up more users or edit them at a later time. When you're done, click the Next button. On the next page, you'll be setting up permissions for the user you just created. Select Attach Policies Directly. In the next step, type Amazon SES Full Access in the search bar and select the checkbox next to this option when it appears. Click the Next button to continue. On the following page, you'll see the details you selected for this user. Make sure everything is correct and click the Create User button. On the Users page, click the name of the user you just created and click on the Security Credentials tab. Scroll down to the Access Keys section and click on the Create Access Key button. In the section called Access Key Best Practices and Alternatives, select Other, then click Next. You can skip the Description Tag Value field on the next page and just click on the Create Access Key button. You should then see a success message along with the Access Key ID and Secret Access Key for this user. You won't be able to see these keys again once you close this page, so make sure to copy them to a safe location. For now, keep this tab open while we move on to the next step. By default, all Amazon SES accounts are put in sandbox mode, which normally means that nothing is happening live and is used for testing purposes only. With Amazon SES, this means that your account has a low monthly sending quota and will only be allowed to send emails to addresses verified through Amazon themselves. We'll need to move from sandbox mode to production mode to increase your monthly sending quota and send emails to anyone. Navigate to the Amazon Service Quotas dashboard and select your region by clicking on the Select a Region dropdown on the top right. Make sure to select the same region you chose when you set up your Amazon AWS account. Click on AWS Services in the sidebar menu, then type Amazon Simple Email Service in the search bar. You should see one option called Amazon Simple Email Service or Amazon SES. Click on this option. On the next page, you'll be able to request to increase your sending quota, so start by selecting Sending Quota, then click on the button called Request Quota Increase. Afterwards, a case classification form will appear. This is what Amazon will use to prevent spammers from using their system. Here you'll be able to specify your desired daily sending quota in the Change Quota Value section. Enter anything you'd like, but for our example, we're going to write 500. When you've finished, click the Request button. Afterwards, you should receive two emails from Amazon Web Services, both confirming that a new case has been created. You should know the results within one business day. In the meantime, let's continue on with the next steps to set up the mailer with WP Mail SMTP. Open a new tab, log into your WordPress site, and go to the Settings page of WP Mail SMTP from the side menu. On this page, we can begin configuring the mailer settings. You'll see two fields from email and from name. By default, these fields will be filled in by your site's admin email address and site name. In the from email field, you can use any email address you have access to, but for best results, we recommend using a domain-specific email address. You can also check the box labeled force from email if you'd like the address in the from email field to be used across your entire site. In the from name field, feel free to write in any name you'd like. You can also select the Force From Name field if you'd like this to be applied to all emails site-wide. 
Scroll down to the Mailer section and select Amazon SES from the available choices. You should then see two additional fields appear, Access Key ID and Secret Access Key. Copy and paste these keys into their respective fields, then click on the Save Settings button. You can then configure the Closest Region field when it appears. One will already be selected for you based on where your site's hosting server is located, so make sure you change this to match whatever you chose in Amazon SES. From there, scroll down to the SES Identity section and click on the Add New button to add any emails or domains that you might want to use as the from email address on your site. An overlay will then appear where you can either verify your domain or verify your email address. We'll go over how to verify both, so let's first start with verifying our domain. By verifying a domain in Amazon SES, you'll be able to use any email address under that verified domain without having to verify each email address individually. Enter your site's domain in the text box, then click the Verify button. This will generate CNAME records for your domain. You'll need to add all three name and value pairs to your domain's DNS settings to complete the verification process. Open a new tab and go to your site's DNS settings. This is often your site's hosting provider. Each DNS settings page will look different depending on your provider, but regardless, there should be an option to add a new record. Let's go through adding the first record as an example. On your DNS settings page, click the option to add a new record and specify what type of record it's going to be. Tab back to your WordPress site, copy the name value, and go back to your DNS settings and paste it into the host name or name field. Go back to your WordPress site again, copy the text in the value column, and paste it into the value column in your DNS settings. You'll repeat this process for all records generated by Amazon SES. Once you've added these records to verify your domain, you can go back to the settings page of WP Mail SMTP and refresh the page where you'll see your verified domains. Next, let's go over how to verify an email address. Under the SES Identity section, click Add New, then select Verify Email Address. Enter a valid email address, then click the Verify button. You should then see a message asking you to check the specified email address's inbox for a verification email. Go to your inbox, open the email, and click on the link. This has to be done within 24 hours of receiving the email to verify the message. Once you've done so, you can go back to the settings page of WP Mail SMTP, refresh the page again to see the newly verified email address. Finally, once you've made sure that the verification process on Amazon SES's end has been completed, click on the Save Settings button at the bottom of the page. To make sure everything is working properly, let's send out a test email. Click on the Email Test tab at the top of the page, and in the Send To field, you can enter whatever email address you'd like. When you're done, click Send Email. When the test email has been sent, check your inbox to find the newly arrived message. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to set up WP Mail SMTP with Amazon SES. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to visit WPMailSMTP.com and check out our documentation page, where we have step-by-step -step written instructions that can help you get started and learn more about what WP Mail SMTP has to offer. If you need any extra technical help, you can always go to our contact page and reach out to our support team.